Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Teacup Simmer, and this is another part of our Niche Warrior Cats Challenge series. And we are back with season two of our series, you guys. Season two, episode two, where our amazing Dustclaw has finally decided to break out on his own and start his own clan. We don't know the name of the clan yet. We don't know where his medicine cat's gonna come from. We don't know where any of his other cats in his clan are gonna come from, but we will figure it out as we go. Currently we are in niche update version 1.1.11 at the moment. It is still a buggy update so you guys can check out all of the information about how to update to this version of the game in the description box below. I'll leave a link to the strafe on forums. Currently we are still working in bear clan. It's gotten a pretty good size. We're at 20 nichelings. It's possible that we may um end up having a cut down soon because I believe Acorn Branch, J Sky, Saffron Dust are all getting up there in age and Fire Song, I believe is getting up there in age as well. So we're gonna have like a bunch of nichelings who are around six moons old are probably gonna, are just gonna stop doing things. So we're going, cause they're all going to be elders at that point. So we're gonna have to find some really good food sources in the meantime, which is why we have our amazing Citrus Fruit and his adorable little apprentice Lemon Paw, who is actually going to be a warrior in the next day that I didn't even realize that he's so cute um so lemon paw is out with citrus fruit basically scouring the territory looking for more food sources I believe there is a bear right over here so we're everybody's trying to avoid this section of um the island but they may make their way somewhere over here hopefully we'll find some more berry bushes or something along those lines whereas Dustclaw is making his way onto this side of the island. Hopefully he'll find something interesting. This island may be too small for us. I don't actually think, I don't even know if we have any bigger islands to be fair, but it's something that we're gonna have to look into. So we're going to end up having to skip the day. I think Howl Kit was Ember Breeze's only baby. Oh, nope, we gotta put, we gotta put them back here. Well, no, she can stay there because Sandshell's looking after them. So once Owl Kid is old enough to move, Sandshell will probably take over that one because I believe she's having some babies with J Sky, um, probably at Ember Breeze's insistence because of course they're super close. So we're gonna skip the day. We have enough food to get us by, just barely 26 food. We're definitely going to have to kind of hustle on the food bit, you guys. So and stone pools leaving us oh no poor oak leaf i believe does acorn branch have any more babies is berry kit hers i believe berry kit's hers yeah berry kit's acorn branches child so how many moons okay so berry kit has about three moons left so acorn branch has to stay in the nursery until then okay so we're gonna skip the day and see what we can get out of all these lovely little ones can you do anything else, Oak Leaf? You can clear the grass. That'll help out a little bit. Aw. Look at the lovelies. Okay. So we're going to move Howl Kit and put Ember Breeze up here so she can look after her small one. And Acorn Branch. No! This is this is a problem. Go away. And I think Fire Song would hear Oak Leaf's cries of alarm and call over Specklefur to help out as like a barrier for her. So that's good. So Specklefur is like, are you okay? Is there anything going on? And of course her father. And I think that first scratch by Oak Leaf was probably a little bit of a um, pent up frustration considering that um she he kind of like comes and goes from acorn branch's life and acorn branch doesn't necessarily have any strong feelings for anyone aside from stone pool who just left us so of course oak leaf isn't gonna have any good ideas about her father either 
So we're gonna have Fire Song help pick up that food. Yeah, she has a couple moons, about three moons left until she's not able to help us with food anymore. So we'll take advantage of that. Um, River Paw, we'll have him come help us out over here. I believe there should be some berries. There we go. And these guys will be over here clearing this stuff out. Is there any other food? Okay, so the bear's coming after these guys. So we'll have Lemon Paw, you're old enough now. Let's change this. So now he is a warrior and I'm trying to think, I think Lemon Tree is the one that I had in my head for him. So Lemon Tree. I kind of wanted to lame him Lemon Fruit because we already have Citrus Fruit, but Lemon Tree is a really good one. So we'll have Lemon Tree pick this up. Um, he doesn't need to stay near um, Citrus Fruit anymore. So we'll send these guys off. Oop, there's a nest up here. But there don't really seem to be any berries per se. And then here's the rogue male. Sorry guys, I'm super sniffly, I have allergies. Let's see, the bear is leaving. So I think Rowan Star would be very interested to see what's happening over this way. So she'll probably have Lion Pride and his apprentice start making their way over that way. Um, Brack and Paw can't go that far. So we'll just move them this way. So is there anything else that we should be aware of? I'm trying not to rush her into anything, but she tends to get into stuff. Okay, there's that other berry bush that she found a long time ago. So Rowan Star is a lot different from some of our other leaders. She is very much a go-getter. So she does not like to stay in one place for long. So let's have Summer Paw. We'll have you pick that up. We're super close. We have 19, 19 creatures. We don't see anything on the shores. So we don't have any we don't have any food over here um we'll pick up that food so at least saffron dust was able to help out with that um let's have dust claw make his way he's trying to smell to see if there's anything out here because of course he doesn't want to stay in one area that doesn't have a good amount of food so we are exactly 19 food at this point. The queens are not helping at all because they, they don't have any they don't have any energy to help. Basically, they're spending all of their time taking care of the babies, and we're using all of our other nichelings to kind of scout and expand territory. So once we find like a good source of food, we'll just expand the territory out to that location. But at the moment, we're just kind of scraping by, and as soon as a lot of the other ones get old enough, they will stop contributing altogether. So let's skip the day. Hopefully Dustclaw doesn't run into the bear that's over here. I'm pretty sure it's right there, yeah. So hopefully we can avoid that one by going past the swamp up this way. Okay, so we are completely out of food. Ooh, pretty baby. Horrible fertility. Did I add a fertility in for a bit for you? We can add one for you. That's a problem. Um, Summer Paw. Let's see. But you are adorable. We are going with ghost kit because I love the way you look and that's the first thing that came into my head oh my gosh my nose is all stiffly so we're gonna we're still sending Rowan star out this way to help with food um, let's have 
Lion Pride, come back over here. And we'll start having them follow Rowan Star. She's probably calling them. And then let's see, we have a few berries on this end. Let's see, Friar Song will probably like being helpful. So she'll stick around. Let's knock that. Um, Specklefur will probably want to start clearing out some areas so he can see what's going on. They don't like new individuals. Um, let's see, Riverpaw. I don't think he would attack. But the other creature is in their space. So we'll just keep clearing stuff out. Um, I don't see anything. There we go. We at least got a little bit of food. So they're just doing some hunting. And there's the, there's those cacti, but I don't think they're desperate enough to start taking cacti though. Um, I don't think there's anything, I don't think we'll see anything in the, in the, um, water. We may be able to head up to the river to try and see if we can find something. Cause I don't, is that fish? I can't tell. Okay. There are fish over there. So we might spend, send them over that way. And then I think Sandshell, can you come over here? We'll have you mate with him again. We'll move Howl Kit and we'll put Sandshell up here. I think Berry Kit has one more day left until she's old enough. So we might send those guys across the river. Um, let's see, is there the bear still there? Yep. Okay. Okay, Dustclaw, are you gonna see find anything out here? We are moving slowly very slowly there's some bunnies there's some moles with the bears included it's kind of a problem next time i do this and i'm trying to decide like we might re i'm trying to decide how to do it but the next time we reboot this i might kill like not include the bears in the sandbox mode because in the sandbox mode you can decide whether or not something should and should not be included as a predator and i may decide that the bears are not going to be included in the in the next sandbox mode because the problem is we can't protect ourselves so like intruders things that warriors would normally do get into scraps that kind of stuff they can't do that because the bears will come by and start trying to attack them so hopefully and like I said, you guys, this challenge is kind of like a work in progress. It's something that I tweaked when I first um, started playing niche. And it's something that we did a lot in live streams that was kind of like open ended. It was a lot of story and it's been a lot of story here. We have a very interesting bear clan that's taken over a good quarter of good quarter of the island. If not more than that, I'd say maybe a third. Um, since they're hunting in this area too, and we're probably going to send some more, some more cats over there to hunt in this area. So it may end up being like only being able to have maybe two clans on this island and, and we may change it if we end up switching islands. You guys can let me know down in the comments because we have a, we have a port right here that we could technically take like maybe some of like the three most promising nichelings and like a medicine cat and a leader from each each quote unquote clan and, or like a medicine cat, a leader and like a deputy and then one other cat. So four each, so we'd have eight. So we, let's see, and that's 10 on this port. So we'd be able to have, we'd have be able to have two clans to start off the bat and they'd start in completely different locations and they'd get into scraps and they'd fight each other. I'm pretty sure you can fight. I haven't tried this actually. I don't think you can. You can't, you can't fight creatures that are in your, um, that are like part of your group. That's interesting. I wonder if that's a mechanic that we can get turned off, but I don't know. So we're going to skip the day. Oakleaf's father is lurking. I heard a growl. There we are. 
We have a predator. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, so we'll probably send Specklefer out there to help. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other dangerous locations around here. So we'll have... There we go. We'll clear this out. Um, we'll have Brackenpaw follow Lion Pride out this way while they help out their leader with finding some more food. Um, I'm trying to make sure that we aren't missing anything other than that potentially bad. Ooh, lots of bunnies. Let's pick up that food and run away. Um, let's have... And then let's have, I'm trying to think about getting as much food as possible at the moment. And then we'll have golden oak, pick up that food. There's a berry bush, that was good. So we'll have that, I think, yeah, the predator, predators can't move that fast I don't believe like I know the I know the the movement speed for bears but I don't think I ever actually took the time to learn it for everyone else okay so I think um I'm trying to think about the best course of action because we're trying to make sure we have enough food for everyone um I think the bunnies took all of our food on this end. Oop, there we go. And we'll keep moving up this way. I think we're out of, yeah, we're out of smelling range of the closest bear, so that's not a problem. Berry Kit is now old enough to be Berry Paw, and my thought was that she was going to be the next medicine cat. Actually, she has a claw. She actually might be extremely useful as a warrior. We might make Howl Kit towel kit he doesn't have see he can't take care of the tree Ooh, that's a problem um see none of them have the ability to crack nuts this is a problem oh no oh no 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 um we may end up having like a permanent warrior be there so they may just tend the tree like Theoretically, like they won't be the ones to actually take care of it. I don't know. This is going to be an interesting dilemma. Let's see. And you guys can let me know down in the comments who you think should do that. Right now, I think I'm going to have Berry Paw be. Let's see. Do we have the dark blue? Here we go. Since Oak Leaf technically is our is our medicine cat now. So Oak Leaf will have Berry Paw as her apprentice, and I think that will work out. River Paw may end up once he begets, once he gets his warrior name, may end up being like the permanent warrior here as a protector for the medicine cat, because that seems to be a necessary thing at this point. Um, we'll have River Paw come over here. All right, so I think that's everyone's movements. Nope, we still gotta get these guys over the river. Let's see. They haven't found anything. We got 22. We're at 22 food. It's not bad. And, ooh, Ghost Kit is old enough. Out of the nest, lovely. And we'll put sand shell back down. I know we're trying to, but I still want to get like a regular number of kits coming in at the same time. Acorn branch is no longer, um, is no longer needed in the nursery. So well done, love. So we're gonna put her back on warrior duties. So she's going to be picking up as much food as she can. Let's see. No, Fire Song is an elder now, so we're gonna have to start moving. I think we made we made that color gray, and I can't see for the life of me. I hate when I can't see what I'm doing. 
I think it is that color. I think. Now I'll I'll see you next time once we change over to the next day. But I believe Acorn Branch is going to be our first elder. Is Saffron Dust is going to be an elder next turn? Oh no, we are losing a lot of the a lot of the cats that are going to be able to help us. Okay, J Sky is going to be fine. Acorn Branch does a couple days. Technically, Rowan Star doesn't have a missing one. Golden Oak is gonna ha it has a couple days. Yeah, so this is going to be interesting. We're gonna have a bunch of cats that are just gonna come back, and I think we're gonna set that set up the Elder's Den like right around here or like right here. Maybe it's gonna be super close to the nursery, so it might be over here. Not positive yet. So we're gonna skip the day. Okay, I haven't heard anything that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. Citrus fruit, you got yourself into a little bit of a, a little bit of a little bit of a tiff, man. So we'll send speckle fur and oak, golden oak to come help out. Fur, can you get to this side? Yeah, there we go. And then we'll have lemon tree. There we go. That worked out well. I don't think anybody can pick up the food yet, though. Oh, that's a problem. Um, and fire song, you're gonna come back down here. You guys can guard the food. It would be funny if Dust Claw kind of like ran in and is like, hey, I'm going to take all this. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you. So he's super close. Um, Let's see. Let's have Berry Paw. Berry Paw is just going to whack at it. Um, and I think... Oak Leaf is going to have a hard time trying to teach her about how to take care of the trees and <gasps> look at the baby. Oh my goodness. You're adorable. I love you to pieces. Ah, my gosh. I love it. I love it. You look so great. Ah. Oh my gosh. She looks so pretty. So I'll have Lem Summer Paw pick up that food. So that should help out a little bit. Um, Acorn Branch, are you old enough? Nope. There we go. So we'll keep Fire Song there. We need the food. So we'll keep picking that up. And we'll have to start sending Saffron Dust back towards back towards the nesting grounds um let's see is there any other <gasps> bracken paw look at you you're just so big and strong and look awesome now you can go help your brother so of course as we all know bracken paw and his brother were the ones that were going to leave he looks so fierce and so strong love him to pieces Ugh. so oh look at you how you're just all in your lonesome so we next time i think this we're gonna end this part right here you guys next time you guys can let me know what you think um bracken paw's name should be you guys can put that down in the comments below and i'll take the suggestions and figure out which one we're gonna name him i really don't know what to name him actually because he like his the first part of his name works perfectly fine and he has such pretty green eyes and he has cute little speckles but i think we need something really great for um the last part of his name so you guys can let me know down in the comments um i think we have all the ones there's a baby <gasps> the baby you guys can also let me know what you guys think this the baby's name should be because i'm not going to name her name her yet it's a her right pretty sure yeah i'm not going to name her yet but we have a bunch of new apprentices we have a, a few very cute 
babies that we can know and then our new rogue male is having a little bit of an interesting time trying to keep track of and find food in the areas that he's choosing to set up in he may end up setting up over here to be honest because it's underneath some trees i kind of like this area so he may be over he may decide to make that um his territory and then the cats have decided to take down some predators on the edges of territory just so that they can um up their food stores so you guys can let me know what you think of this episode down in the comments below if you are enjoying season two also let me know if you guys have any ideas about what to do to continue this challenge i love the idea of possibly taking um about four cats from each clan and starting like on a new island that would be really interesting because we've been on this island for a while um and there are some really sacred areas but of course there are also areas that we kind of want to see if we can find some new places that the cats can settle so just let me know if you guys like that idea down in the comments below if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and i will see you guys next time bye